Hi, Maria here and welcome to my channel. Today I am going to talk about the products that I use for my hair. Um, I had a request for that and I thought that's a really great idea. So I'm going to talk about the best products for gray hair. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. Hit that thumbs up button if you enjoy the content and leave a comment if you like. I love comments. I love responding to your comments and it also helps the channel grow. Also, please check the description bar below. I will have my Instagram linked there and I always post things like every day I've got something posted on there. So let's get started. I'm gonna talk about my shampoos first. So when I first started growing my hair out, my hair was uh, super dry. It had, uh, there was a lot of breakage from wearing it in a ponytail. And as well, I think it was a, a little bit over processed. So um, I had been using a Mika shampoo and I really loved the smell of that. Like that was my biggest reason for using it. Um, but I thought it was time to get something that was a little bit more nourishing. And for me, um, I have been using like professional products for years. I've used cheap drugstore products and honestly, I couldn't tell a difference until I went to this product and I absolutely love it. I feel like it's healing my hair uh, and that's the Unite 75 Seconds products. So this is the conditioner and shampoo. With the whole entire Unite line, the scent is very, very mild to not even noticeable. Uh, so if you're sensitive to scents, this is a nice product to go with. Uh, if you love your scent in your shampoo, um, this isn't gonna be for you. However, it's so great. I think it's so great anyway that it's it's worth forgoing the beautiful scent. Anyway, I'm using these right now. Um, I'm almost out of them and I'm definitely gonna repurchase it. I'm so impressed with this whole entire line. So moving on, um, the other thing that you need for uh, shampooing is a purple shampoo. And the one I'm using is Fame's Color Lover Dynamic Blonde Violet Shampoo for blonde and gray hair. Now the reason why you need a purple shampoo, and maybe you know this, but uh, you know when your hair is colorless or gray, silver, blonde, uh, it can get brassy or dull really quickly. So the purple shampoo really helps with this. I think typically purple shampoos tend to be drying. So I only use this one like every other shampoo or like normal, normal purple, normal, normal purple. So every third one uh, I'll use this. And a lot of times I cut it with a shampoo, like the Unite shampoo, just because this is so potent. It's so purple that um, when I've used this straight and, and left it on too long, uh, it's turned my hair a little bit old lady purple, like from back in the 70s. So I don't want that. Um, so yeah, I put it in, I massage it through my whole entire head, leave it sit for about a minute to two minutes and then rinse it out. I've heard that the shampoo is better to get than the conditioner because the shampoos are always more potent. So this is the one I'm using now. Um, when I've when I'm done this one, I'll likely try something else because I want to find something that's maybe a little bit more nourishing. Yeah, but purple shampoo is definitely your best friend to keep your hair nice and silver. Uh, it's awesome. Once I'm done in the shower, then I move on to uh, my other hair care products. And I have two in particular that I use um, regularly. I use a leave-in conditioner by Unite. If my hair's feeling really dry, I'll put some of this in. Usually just the regular conditioner is enough. Uh, and I don't wanna weigh my hair down, but sometimes, I, like lately, my hair feels dry, so I've been using this. So I'll spritz this kind of in, in this area and then just massage it in. And then my favorite product um, for nourish, nourishing your hair is the Unite uh, U Oil Argon is what it's called. And this is just a really like, I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of almost got, like it's not super runny. Uh, it definitely runs. It's a little bit gel in, in consistency, like a really liquidy gel, but this stuff is just beautiful. Uh, now the reason why I went with that, first of all, the Unite line is fantastic, but also this was a clear oil. I don't wanna put a Moroccan oil in that's yellow uh, because I wanna keep my hair as silver as possible. So using the clear oil is definitely a better choice. Um, and yeah, this is just beautiful oil. I put it just a drop, like you need just the tiniest drop. 
I go like this, rub it in my fingers, and then I just massage it through the tips. I'll go like this, flip my head upside down, and just kind of distribute it mainly on the tips to mid shaft at the most. Uh, and this is just, uh, it's a fantastic product. So I, I highly recommend that one. Now for styling, I use two different products. Now, a lot of people are into heat protectants. I've heard um, other things about heat and protectants that it actually dries your hair out more. Uh, I always was a heat protectant girl, but it, since going gray, I've chosen not to use one. And I found that my hair has become less dry and less breakage. So for me, I'm opting out of the heat protectant. What I do use is two volumizing products because my hair tends to go a little bit limp. So the first one that I use is this Unite Boosta Thickening Cream Volume Body Amplified. And I use the tiniest amount, like um, I use about that much. So like about three quarters of a dime, if that, like it's pretty tiny. Um, so I use about that much. Maybe that's not enough. I don't know. But uh, anyway, I smoosh it in my hands again and I distribute it mainly in my roots and then just kind of run it through the rest of my hair. But my favorite product for volumizing is this Liquid Volume Instant Texture Hold uh, by Unite. And I use about four sprays, like real quick spritz. Uh, I put it wherever I want volume. So I'll put some, like I'll spritz there. I'll lift this up, spritz in here, spritz one in the back. Sometimes I only do three, sometimes I do another one over here. Uh, but anyway, that's all I do. And then again, I like I, I focus the spritz on the roots, but then I massage it all in into my hair. So as far as blow drying is concerned, it's recommended that you blow dry on medium if you wanna keep your hair from drying out. But I like the volume that hot gives. So I blow dry my hair on high, hot, uh, but I blow dry it all upside down and just uh, really focus on getting those roots really dry. For this portion, I flip it over and dry it this way. For this portion, I flip it over and dry it the other way. Uh, and then before I'm done, I take the cold shot or I'll turn, it, turn the dryer onto cold and blow dry all my roots till they're really quite cool. Uh, and that just locks in volume. So that's what I've been doing. Um, as far as a curling iron is concerned, I've been using this Hot Tools three quarter inch for, you know, to get the little curls. And what I find um, since my, I don't know if it's because I'm getting older, if it's because of the gray hair, but my hair just doesn't get greasy near as fast. So I usually try to go as long as possible before washing my hair again. So I go about five days, uh, sometimes six, uh, which may sound gross to you guys, but seriously, it doesn't get, it just doesn't get greasy. So I curl my hair once. And part of the reason why I can do that, I think this is a great curling iron. Uh, but also what I do is I'll curl my whole head. Um, if you want a tutorial on that, let me know. But I curl my hair and then I let it cool again. And then it seems like the curls stay in place for the rest of the week. So uh, maybe it's just me, but that's what I've been doing. Uh, now, as far as styling products go, this is my favorite product of everything that I'm telling you about today. It's called Living Proof Full Dry Volume Blast, uh, Instant Lasting Volume and Texture. This is fantastic. So, um, like again, it's pricey, but I have never run across a texture spray I love as much as this. I had this Joyco uh, Beach Shake. This one smells kind of like coconutty beach, and it's it's a amazing smell. But as far as performance, this one's way better. This one's okay. This one's fantastic. So I just take this one, and again, I concentrate it on the you know in into the roots, especially in my crown. Uh, and then I'll just kind of lift it up and spritz it all through the hair. Uh, it just kind of adds texture and grit, uh, which you kind of want. 
And then I've always been a sexy hair spray and play. I used to be a spray and play harder girl, <laughs> but now I'm a spray and play just because it gives my hair a little bit more movement. So I love this hairspray and I've used it for years and I will always use it. It's my friend. So yes, this product. And last for dry shampoos, again, I've never found a dry shampoo that I'm like, wow, that's so amazing. I'm willing to spend like over $15 on it. So I usually buy the cheapest thing I can find. When my hair was dark and I had dark roots, I'd try to find a clear dry shampoo. So I was using this Garnier one uh, for the longest time, but right now I'm using Candy, like the Candy Johnson. She put out this mermaid dust with uh, OGX. I just wanted to support her because I think she's sweet. Um, and this one, I love the smell of this one. Like, now this is where I get my scent. Oh, it smells like strawberries, strawberries and cream kind of. Mm, I just love this. I love putting this on because it smells so darn good and it works decent enough. So this I'll use like near the end, like on the fourth day or the fifth day. Usually I only need to use this if I'm going six days and I use it on the fifth day because my hair just doesn't grease up. Uh, but this is great for also adding volume and texture. This leaves a residue though. Uh, so for me, that's not an issue because it actually brightens my roots. Uh, but if you've got dark hair, this would be terrible for you. But this is a gray hair video. So this one works just great. Smells beautiful. And yeah, um, those are those are the products that I'm using. Um, yeah, I love the Unite brand. I just think it's fantastic. Uh, and this Living Proof so so good as far as texturizing as far as my haircut is concerned someone was asking about that as well um, i went for a very short layered bob essentially it would be a little bit elevated in the back i also at one point had this shaved uh, and the reason why i shaved this in here uh, was to just give a peak of white um because my hair was primarily black to begin with so i thought well if i put a little bit of a, a of a shave in here uh, it's going to just give me that pop of white right off the bat. And my idea was I wanted to be as intentional as possible with my haircut. So I went as layered as possible to get uh, a lot of different, uh, it would create texture, uh, create movement. It would break up the demarcation. I'll leave my videos uh, linked down below as far as uh, why I decided to do it. Uh, but yeah, just a short bob is essentially what I have right now. It's layered way more in the back. Um, but yeah, uh, I don't know. I hope that answered your question. If it didn't, tell me in the comments. So that's it. Please feel free to uh, tell me what products you're using. If you're using a great product, uh, let everybody know what it is. And that's about it. So thank you so much for watching and have a great week.